the shock is angled inwards and the chassis sits a little bit lower. Welcome back to Big Sound Hobbies. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome. Here you will find RC reviews, upgrades and mods, and run videos related to RCs. Before we dive in, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. Thank you for the support. Today I'm going to focus on lowering the rear ride height, at the same time improving the weight distribution on my Element Sendero SC using a spare part from my parts bin. Currently, the rear shock towers are mounted at the rearmost holes causing the shocks to lean slightly backwards, which is counterproductive. Ideally, you want the shocks angling inwards towards the skip plate. Angling the shocks increases the wheel travel using the same length shocks. By moving the shocks inward, it slows the shocks travel in relationship to the wheels. Furthermore, it helps to lower the body, which helps with the overall center of gravity. There are a few options to accomplish this. First option, and probably the cheapest cost option, is to pick up a shock key, such as from IARC. This will allow you to relocate your upper shock mounting point angled inward, thus lowering the ride height. The pros is that it's fairly cheap at around $10. Also, it does not change the body mounting position, so you get to keep the current hole on the sender SE body. As for cons, there isn't much when you consider that $10 is fairly cheap for RC part. Second option is to replace the rear shock tower to a metal version. They will typically have many more mounting positions, thus serving the purpose they were looking for. The pros is that it's much stronger piece, so it will get rid of any flex on the plastic shock tower, and it offers tons of shock mounting positions. As for cons, it's the most expensive option. Typical metal shock towers ranges from $25 to $40 range. Additionally, it might change the body mounting position, which means that I will need to drill new holes on the Sendero SC body, and that's something that I'm trying to avoid. Third option is getting creative with the existing drill the hole on the chassis and using the stock shock towers. Pros is that it's free, and more importantly, it maintains the current body mounting position so you get to keep the current hole on the Sendero SE body. As for cons, it's very slight. It would be nice to angle the shocks a bit more, but lack of mounting holes limits it. While I work on the third option, I'm also going to replace the non-functional fuel cell with the chassis brace part number 42002 from my parts bin. Weight distribution can be done by adding weights but you can also remove unnecessary weight. The fuel cell weighs 37 grams and it doesn't serve any purpose other than adding weight to the rear. The rear chassis brace only weighs 6 grams, so there will be 31 grams of weight removed from the rear. Steps are pretty simple. Step number one, remove the wheel for easy access. Step number two, Loosen the screw holding the shock to the shock tower. Do this on both sides. Loosen the two screws holding the shock towers and remove it. Do this on both sides. Step 4. Loosen the two screws holding the rear body mount on one side only. This will allow you to spread the chassis to remove the fuel cell. Step 5. Insert the rear chassis brace in between the chassis. Align the holes to the frontmost holes. Step 6. Reinstall the two screws 
that holds the rear body mount. Step 7. Reinstall the shock towers, but swap sides so that the right shock tower is mounted to the left side of the chassis and vice versa. Step 8. Reinstall the shock to the frontmost hole. Here's what it looks like after both sides have been modded. The shock is angled inwards and the chassis sits a little bit lower. The body aligns perfectly with the existing body holes. As for the right height, it's now sitting at 3 and 1 eighth. So it's lower by 1 eighth of an inch. The front also sits at 3 and 1 eighth. As for the weight distribution, with the removal of the non-functional fuel cell with the lighter chassis brace, the actual weight distribution now is 61% front and 39% rear without adding weight, and the total weight has decreased to 2,381 grams. I hope you found today's mod informative and useful. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Bigs and Hobbies.